Hello there, internet! Now, about a month ago, I filmed a video for another YouTuber whose channel is called Just Steve's Channel. And Steve has been doing Vita, and one of his videos was like a question, answer, ask me kind of thing. Anyway, one of the questions was like, what important events in history would you want to go back and see? Or something along those lines. I'll link the video in the doobly-doo in case you're interested. He challenged people to comment about it or make videos about it. So I thought, hey, why not? I kind of like history. I'm going to do that. Now when I say I like history, it doesn't mean I like history class because it never kept my attention, it was never fun, and I never knew what we were learning about because I wasn't interested and it wasn't what I wanted to be learning about. And there are some certain things that I would like to go back in time and see. Now keep in mind, this does not mean I wish to have been a part of it by any means. I would just like to be a bystander who is not harmed in any way, shape, or form. The first thing I would like to go back and see is the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire of 1911. If you don't know what that is, according to the Wikipedia, it was the deadliest industrial disaster in the history of the city of Manhattan, and one of the deadliest in U.S. history. I've been interested in this event ever since I read a book by Margaret Peterson Haddix entitled Uprising. I definitely recommend it. It was one of the best books I've ever read, one of my favorites by far, and it was so interesting and like, it got me interested in this history thing that happened actually in life. So I recommend it. The second thing I'd like to go back and see is the Titanic. I've always loved the Titanic, whether it be from the movie or not, I don't really know, but I've been to the museum in Branson, Missouri, yes, twice I've been there, and it's just really cool and really fascinating. I don't know what I like about the Titanic so much, I just think it's really cool, so that's what I would like to go and see. I just want to go back to like the 50s and go to a sock hop? Is that when they happened? I don't know. I want to go back to the 50s and I want to wear a poodle skirt and I want it to not be weird. <laughs> Just because it's a menace. I want to go to Woodstock. Who doesn't? Now another question that Steve posed for us was that question that everybody asks but no one ever has a good answer to. If you could have dinner with four or five living or dead people, who would they be? I wrote right here, you see it, you see it, you see it? I'm gonna read them to you now. Well, not read, I'm gonna say them to you, but I mean, I have to look at my paper to remember which ones I wrote down because there are just so many interesting people in this world that I just want to see and have dinner with. I want to have dinner with Martin Luther King Jr. I want to sit down over a bowl of mashed potatoes with Joseph, that dude from the Bible. I want to have a long conversation with Shakespeare and see if he wrote what he wrote or if somebody else wrote what he wrote for reals. And then I want to ask him how he made up all these words and then got them used in life and names and how that got them used in life. I want to chit chat with him about how he can write so much if he did. You can't have dinner without Vincent Van Gogh. You just can't. Charles Darwin. Who are you to question everything that everybody else knew? Who are you? Talk to me about it. So there you go. Those are events in history and people in history that I would like to see slash meet and chit chat over a bowl of potatoes, apparently, because that's what I think of when I think of food. Let me know down, Let me know down in the doobly doo who you would go see and who you would chit chat to and what would happen in your life if you could go to the past and do the thing. I'm interested in hearing who you want to share a bowl of mashed potatoes with. And as always, like and subscribe as well because I have to say this sort of thing. But until next time, I'll see you later. Bye! For that for the next couple weeks, well depending on how much I film this weekend and the next weekend, you'll be getting some backlog videos. Why, you may ask? Because I am going on choir tour again. Ah!